me tell you what socialists do. They attack the free press. They attack political opponents. Mm. They attack private businesses. Guess who's doing that in America today? Right, right, right. See? Gee, you know what's happening. You know what's up. You know what time it is. Hello, viewer. Welcome back. I'm Drone Tech, and today we're going to take a look at The Daily Show from yesterday. I guess John Luquizamo has taken over as a guest host, and his first guest on the show is Anna Navarro from The View. So yeah, she's trying to do damage control for the Democrat Party against the socialist label, and <laughs> she actually accuses Republicans of being the real socialists. Let me tell you what socialists do. They attack the free press. And I also want to acknowledge why people are angry. Listen, they've been spewing out crap about COVID and anti-Fauci stuff and anti-vaccine stuff, and people are dying. That doesn't mean that you have to As intimidate people, people every in right public. That doesn't mean that you have to get in people's face in public. D okay, so, then, uh, get me, if, uh, Don't if, watch Tucker Carlson. Don't watch him. Oh, shoot, her signal broke up. They attack political opponents. Mm. There's been this manufactured culture war by Republicans targeting LGBTQ, right? They attack private businesses. Guess who's doing that in America today? Right, right, right. Looters stormed into lower Manhattan last night. They destroyed store windows in Soho and lit fires during another night of violent protests. We weren't necessarily trying to defend the business, but we wanted to go clean up. We wanted to let people know we were in support. We wanted to just, just be there. But as her husband Ralph was trying to clean up outside, Alvarez says she turned to see him on the ground in front of a large crowd, unconscious. It's just the latest obstacle small family-owned businesses are facing in their efforts to rebuild after the riots, according to Representative Mohamud Noor. Eight of rioting led to businesses and institutions along 60th Street in Kenosha being destroyed. Our Ryan Jenkins was there as families arrived to find their livelihoods smashed. They attack private businesses. Guess who's doing that in America today? Right, right, right. See? Gee, you know what's happening. You know what's up. You know what time it is. Oh my God. This is legitimately gaslighting. Go through my hundreds of videos and you're going to find lots of examples of Democrats, the media, and people like her doing all of those things. And when it comes to attacking private businesses, we literally watched BLM and Antifa, who were backed by the Democrats and their state media, destroy private businesses across this country for multiple years. While the media and people like Anna Navarro told us it was mostly peaceful. And another thing about that, Antifa and BLM are openly socialist organizations. See? Gee, you know what's happening. You know what's up. You know what time it is. What? Also, how we get divided sometimes. Latino people get divided. Is it us doing it? Is it them doing it to us? I mean, Nicaraguans, Cubans, Colombians, Puerto Ricans. Aren't we stronger together and better together? What does he just ask there? That white people are somehow insidiously keeping Latino people divided? This is completely insane. And the only place I would expect to see propaganda on this level is in a socialist controlled country. By themselves, Cubans are three and a half percent. Right. Mexican Americans are. 11 percent together we're almost 20 percent and guess what if we build alliances with other groups like african americans yes. we are unstoppable black and brown together man black and brown together we're so strong together why aren't we getting together the black caucus the latino caucus in dc what they're literally trying to create racial alliances to go against white people. The reason Cubans, Guatemalans, and all these people from South America come here and then vote against Democrats is because they know what socialism and communism look like. And when they look at Democrats, they see the things that they were fleeing. Of course, the Democrats don't have any real argument to battle against this, so their operatives in the media instead have to try and divide people along racial lines while claiming you're against the vision. See, we also need the gay caucus because we need to accessorize. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but we, you know, what we need to understand as different communities is that we can't fall victim. We can't fall prey to let's compete for the same small piece of pie. No, damn it. Give me a bigger piece of pie. <laughs> That's just too easy.
<laughs> oh, and I don't want to be fighting for no small piece of pie. She wants the big piece of pie. <laughs> I'm not going to argue that Anna Navarro isn't the authority on eating big pies. The people who hate you, the people who hate me, don't care, Papa. They don't care how much of your DNA came from Spain or how much of it came from indigenous America. They care that you're a Latino and they want to otherize us. You're a damaged goods lady. Who is this shadowy nebulous they you keep talking about? It sounds like the people you're trying to otherize. Am I insane? Am I completely crazy? Or am I watching Anna Navarro otherize white people and treat them as if they're some sort of mortal threat to everybody who isn't white? I gotta tell you, this is some of the craziest shit I've ever seen on TV. She and John Lucasamo and anybody that follows them are literally every single one of the things she accuses her opponents of being. And look, it's pretty easy to find that Democrats have a high support for socialism. I mean, can you even imagine someone white in the media talking like this about white people uniting to keep ourselves protected from everybody who's not white. All right, folks, I can't take any more of this. So if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share, subscribe, and make sure to leave a comment to vent those frustrations I know you have. Thanks a lot. I'll see you on the next one.